beautiful sunny day here at the Okie Pinocchio Swamp. We're about to head out and see what kind of adventures we can have. Stay tuned. <laughs> Hey guys, we are in the middle of the Okie Pinocchio Swamp, and uh, unlike any other place you'll ever paddle, they got something out here that is uh, greater than gold. I'm talking, it's awesome. Don't you agree, Carmen? I do. Check it out, guys. A porta potty in the middle of the freaking swamp. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Okie is a word in the uh, Native American language that means land of the shaking earth or the quaking earth. And uh, this is it right here. This is what they're talking about, guys. If you can look out here across it, it looks like a big uh, dirt mound or it looks like just a piece of land, but it's actually floating sediment. That it's uh, just uh, plant life and all and just it's basically land that's floating on the water and uh, pretty unique uh, to the Okefenokee Swamp. Very cool stuff. <laughs> is working very hard to get us out. See, there's the end of the paddle. If he tried to get out and step out in this, he would sink down to his... Quicksand. Yeah. But he's getting it. Wow. I thought I'd be able to cut through it. There's no paddling through that. We have learned our lesson. <laughs> and there it is. Very thick vegetation. I just saw what looked like a, a little bit of a floating debris that I could get through, and we hit it, and we came to a screeching stop. And uh, I've never felt anything stickier or muckier <laughs> in my life. We couldn't move. I literally had to push my paddle through the debris, the muck, and get find the bottom to get my paddle blade in to push off. And if you guys know me, I do not like pushing on expensive paddle blades, but there was no choice. We had to get out. Uh, <laughs> And then we had to use uh, my nice paddle as a push pole. So yeah, that is land of the trembling earth. That is 
what the Okefenokee is known for is floating earth that comes up and it's just, it's, it's plant matter that is making life, making solid ground basically that floats on top of the water. So that, uh, I'm, I will never try to pull on top of it again. I'm glad we survived it. <laughs> Alligators aren't the only carnivores out here in the Okefenokee. This is a pitcher plant. And as you can see, the uh, top folds over and it's hollow on the inside. And there's a sweet nectar smell on the inside of that. And the bugs crawl in there. And when they get in there, the top blocks the light and these little spots on the back side let light in so it confuses the bug as to where the exit is and they end up falling down into the plant where there is a liquid at the bottom that digests the bug so the pitcher plant is a carnivorous plant here in the okefenokee <laughs> leg. He's getting tired, y'all. He's getting real tired. I say, go, man, go. 
Go. Push. Push it harder. You okay. can do it. Hey, okay. That was not cool, dude. Not cool.